Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And I don't actually know what this is. No, because it's brand new. Oh. I've been living with this. Okay. What if I told you that you can get a three row Lexus now. Paint me a picture. That isn't a body on frame, wafty, derpy, $150,000 LX. Very specific need, but I'm excited because that must be what this is. This is the Lexus TX. <laughs> okay. Which I, I, what did we say LX stands for? Luxury crossover? Yeah. TX I think is just the, uh, it's just the initials of Texas. So the seats are so really this is wide. A, this is a Lexus Texas. It's Not Lexus Texas. the internet version that has existed up until now. <laughs> Fellas, day mine, put it away. This is a, a car. I don't know what you're talking about. That's because you're an innocent young man. Um, That's fine. So I'm looking at this grill here. Yes. And this to me does not look as much like a Lexus as it does look like somebody else copied Lexus's design language. Well, it's still got it's, the hourglass. It does have the, yeah, but it's this like- This is their integrated spindle grill. Integrated spindle grill? Yes. It, so, it sounds Comes like- Comes up a, with the name. Sounds like a hipster right? restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, this, is painted in, uh, in, <laughs> this is painted in incognito. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of following along with the, uh, the primer sort of Audi, yeah. uh -huh. Audi greys. It's Definitely a primer. Yeah, yeah, it's popular these days. Anyway, sorry, there, are, stop. There, are, <laughs> there are a few ways. <laughs> sorry, stop. This is killing me. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. So, progressive restaurant <laughs> establishments aside, <laughs> losing it right now. There are a few ways you can have your TX. This is based on the Toyota Grand Highlander. They right. both sort of come out about the same time. Yeah. It is a unibody car. Yeah. It is long. It's like two inches longer. I think it is. Yeah. Don't quote me. The longest three row unibody option around okay uh, you can have it in a similar similar engines or the exact same engine sorry as the toyota highlander okay a grand highlander but it gets more power really Sing single digits horsepower and torque i think per trim higher oh. um, but it is a quite expensive car this is ninety two thousand canadian as spec whoa so what engine does it have in it be v8 then so yeah it's no no yeah. you wish yeah 2.4 cylinder 2.4 oh. liter four cylinder yeah. is the base this is the 2.4 liter four cylinder hybridized so this Ooh. is the 500h instead of the 350 okay i like that and then there's a 550h plus that's a high a plug-in hybridized six cylinder were you like were you really good at, on, on tests in, in school? You just like memorize everything right before you right walk before. in and then just vomit out yeah, on yeah. paper. Yeah, yeah. Ten minutes from now, this is gone. Yeah. This is gone. <laughs> okay. I well, we, you'll drive it in a second. Yeah. That's a lot of money for a four cylinder. It I, is. I hear the comments cry. Yeah. I think it works really, really well. Does it? Car. It's probably more efficient too, yeah. right? And it is a three row. So it is, it's a spacious. What is wrong with normal door handles? Yeah, it's got little. Uh, What's well, a little stupid button? It also has buttons on the inside as I don't well. Don't like that. So, so strangely, you can only have this as a six seater in this in the 500. Okay. You can get the 350 in a Easy seven in. seater and the Grand Highlander in an eight, but they've made this more executive. Oh, this isn't so bad. Yeah, you can fit. You can fit full adults there. I can fully sit here. This yeah. is this is great. No, it's nice. And those fold down electrically at the back, and they fold up electrically, slowly. Well, I mean, I hope they do all of those is it things. Electrically or electronically? Elect electronically. Electrically. No soft clothes, unfortunately. Not, not for your 90 grand. Another strange packaging option beyond the seats is that you can only get the 500H yeah. in F Sport trim. Is so, it a button? Wow. Oh. Explosions. Yeah. If this wasn't extra throttle house, oh, the effects that would have occurred. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can only have this in the sporty flavor. You can only get these 22 inch Durango RT style wheels. They are kind of Durango-y, aren't huge, they? They're huge, aren't they? Yeah. But maybe you want more sidewall. Maybe you want to have your big Lexus. Are you as, trying to tell me something? Maybe, as a, cushy, as a cushy car. You can only have this with the sport tuned suspension. Really? It is adaptive, but it yeah, you can only have it like that. What for the five hundred? What like what? The, why does the word sport come anywhere near something like this? Sporty. It's a three-row Lexus. What are you, what are you doing? Get this in the car. I'm, I'm the Toyota marketing. These are the same guys that did hashtag on every part of a Prius. <laughs> right. What do they know? I think they're all great people. James is just really mean. Hashtag brilliant people. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh. I'm, ooh, that's nice and smooth. Yeah. I like that. It kind of, if you smash your foot down, then you have to wait for a downshift. And I find the hybrids, they, they reward a half throttle. Just that sort yeah, of initial yeah, yeah. oomph. Well, just use that EV to your advantage as opposed to trying to bite too hard into the exactly. gasoline yeah. engine, right? So you've got 366 horsepower on tap. All right, sport mode. 
you know, it isn't actually that slow. No. Like, that's, that's all you need. It's just, it's all un- you need. unfortunately, this has entered a price point where it has to be more than need. Because if you look at yeah. things, like, this is more expensive as spec the- than an Acura MDX Type what? S. So are you feeling that? So you know how the LX yeah. was soupy back yeah. and forth? Soupy, yeah. This isn't soupy, but why is my head getting tossed back and forth so much? That's really strange. Because you're Willa Smith. Because... What? She tosses her head back and forth. Oh. Her hair back and forth. She, she whips her hair back and forth? Pop culture. He, pop pop culture, culture, how does it work? <laughs> <laughs> we don't Will know. Will Smith slaps people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, anyway. anyway, so it's expensive. And the right. Toyota Highlander has the same engine. However, it doesn't have this interior, which is very pleasant. Lovely materials. We've got Alcantara under here, which is a really nice touch. Yeah, we've got this similar, like we were in the Lucid Gravity, the sort of bento style yeah. interior boxes. Wireless charger, which by the way, hides away. Oh, nice. I like that idea. Yeah, so you can warm your phone. I can warm my phone in there. Yeah. Yeah. You've got this 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster here. Yep. Uh, with quite nice black levels. It does and look and it does look concave very good. screen. Yeah. You've got this big screen here, which even though this infotainment starts to look dated, when it has car play up, it's very, very nice. And my climate is always kind of right here. And these are physical here. Yeah, no, I like that. Now this all makes sense. I don't have any problems with that. The steering wheel feels good. Yeah. The seats are a bit sporty. You can and you can only option these seats right. with the 500H. Okay. The only F Sport. Remember, only Sport. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Do you do you feel like the ride is is uh, how do you describe it? On a smooth road, it's smooth, and the whole car is smooth. Yeah. But any little bumps, it's kind of banging through the. It's crashing it, through it, the car. So yes, yeah, so I've driven this downtown. I've driven this on the highway. I think for the most part, the ride is great. However, yeah. it crashes on uh, imperfections in the road. Right. So I find it does on smooth roads. It maintains a smooth line more so than like an X5 or an X7. Yeah. Okay. Which even though even though those have the anti active anti roll bars, yeah, this handles its weight better in that sense. But yeah, it is crashy. And again, you've got 22 inch wheels. You I'm sure that's part of that. the reason why. You just don't need that. And the sport adaptive suspension. This is really nice here. So like if your if your wife wants to cross her legs, it'll get dirty really permanently. Wife, eh? Yeah. Someone hasn't been to the integrated integrated spindle grill. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very old-fashioned way of thinking about the passenger okay. seat. I'm, I'm sorry. Your, if your partner crosses their legs. No, no, what you're doing is you're applying it to your life. That's fine. That's, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what you did, right? You yeah. weren't generalizing. I, I didn't generalize. You were talking it was about me. me my wife. Me specifically. Correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <but> yeah. <laughs> integrated I, I, I spindle think, grill. I think there are, there are things that make this uh, a, a modern car in the way it needs to be, like the active rear steer. I did a turnaround this morning in this car. Oh, okay, wait. we're gonna test the uh, the passing prowess because this person go. is just driving me nuts. You know, and it isn't slow actually. It's not slow at all, it's and quite, it makes me think good. that if you just went for the base, maybe that would just be enough. Maybe because like part of the Lexus experience is the interior stuff and that active rear steer, which by the way the Highlander does not get. Oh. And I, I did a turnaround today in that with the, with the rear wheel steer yep. I, I i just i think i was on my own in the car and i was like triumph it's a game changer <laughs> like, no one was in the car it really changes the, the suddenly the size of the vehicle stops being so intimidating especially around cars. yeah parts. no that is that is definitely because i didn't know it had rear wheel steer until you told me yeah uh, but at the end of this road when you turn around you'll see okay you'll see. yeah no, I'm, I, I'm excited to drive it i mean i'm not i'm not that excited it is just rear wheel steer i just, it's just, but it's pleasant. Yeah. There's a lot of pleasantness to this. A lot of pleasant trees, pleasant, you might say. Pleasant trees. Yeah. Listen, I think this is a, a, a good option, albeit an expensive one for you getting have, three yeah, rows. Yeah, you have to want it. You have to really want it. Like, you it. get the Mark yeah. Lemonson sound system versus, I think, the JBL and the Toyota, and this is a fantastic sound system. We were rocking out to this earlier, so that, yeah. is, that is a big upgrade. Right. But yeah, you... You, you have to want the Lexus part. And, it, and if you like the design and you like the F Sport seats, I actually find these quite comfortable. You know, they're, they're, I, I did say they were a little bit too sporty, but they're not uncomfortable as no, a result of no. that. But there is no other option. It's just, that's a strange thing. Right, right, yeah. But yeah, like right now, we're cruising down the road. It's well insulated. It's well insulated. It's easy to drive. The steering is quite intuitive. The ride is, as you said, for the most part, very good. But, but seeing, as, seeing as this knocks it up and the price of this, not wait for this. Where are you ready? Is this the rear wheel steer moment? <sighs> All right, everyone calm down. Quiet. No, shh, shh, no talking. 
Here we go. Oh, now we have to wait. Just wait for the Matrix. My ecstasy is being prolonged. Here we go. Full lock. Ah. Uh, holy sh... Isn't that another level? Wow, you took that too far. No! <laughs> I'm so... Oh, look at that screen! I can make it! No, don't. don't I can make it! Don't try. Look... You're just a wuss. That's the problem here. We're testing cars. This is how it we works. We got it. It was perfect. And yeah. then you oh, went too I, far. Now I got to wait again. That would have been a cool record, though. I do actually want... I, we've never done a full circle. That was the closest we've ever come to a full circle in that spot. No, I'm genuinely very impressed by that. That is right. outrageously tight. It's incredible. Wow. <laughs> I was in the car. Game changer. Game changer. Yeah. But yeah, so the price of this knocks it up into GMC Yukon territory. Yeah. It knocks it into... Um, what's the other body on? It knocks into the body on frame segment with big V8 and yeah. Magna Ride, and so this feels easier to drive than those. I like it, the power. I do like the powertrain. No, I don't. No, I don't actually nice. envy a V8 right now. But even though I do like the powertrain, one of the issues is that the fuel economy isn't that great. I think they advertise like combined somewhere around the nine liter per hundred kilometer set. We're getting ten point four. I'm doing ten point four in, in a, a hybrid four. Yeah, but it's a three row SUV. That balances it out, doesn't it? It tows 5,000 pounds, so it's not quite what those can do. But that, again, we were talking about this in, the, in this mid-sized truck conversation in our Tacoma video. 5,000 pounds gets towing done for most people. Most people. But right? this is mostly going to be a people hauler anyway. Yeah. And it can only haul up to six, as we said, but those six people get to sit quite comfortably. So, yeah, I'm I mean, saying. this is pretty good. It's good. It's pretty good. It's sizable. I mean, buy it for the rear wheel steer alone. Yeah. But... <laughs> I, I don't know. And there's enough room for you and Alexis Texas to shoot a whole scene back there. On your way to the integrated spindle grill. I don't know if that's the same audience. 